FCTB. You know who it is. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Concise the Barber. And today, we're going to be talking about my top five accessories that I need at my barber station or just my barber studio or my barber room into my barber studio. So let's go check out these five things that I need. And I'm also going to have an honorable mention. I know this is one of the things that is, most people think it's a necessity, but you'd be surprised how many people that don't have. So let's check out these items and let's get into the video. All right, so one of the accessories that helps out my flow of the whole barbershop is a coat holder slash capes and aprons. Um, this honestly, having it right in front of my door, right next to it, helps me organize things. I have my aprons and I have my capes that go right here. And just having a place where I have all of that stuff, it definitely helps with not just having it on the chair. I know sometimes barbers leave their capes on the chair, which is fine, but this right here, if you're, you know, around winter time, if you live in an area where it's cold and you need to ha hang up their stuff, having this is a must. I don't know that many places that don't have it, but I definitely feel like if you are gonna open up a new studio, this is something that you don't wanna forget about. So a hanging hook that has multiple hooks, not just two or three, I have eight. So just make sure that you get, I'll say at least about a minimum four four hooks but eight is like the best to me so i'll leave the link in the description below uh, where i got this and so yeah this is one of them so let's get to the next one all right y'all so the next accessory i'm going to talk about for me in a barber studio if you are a barber that's going to have multiple clippers i don't care what brand you get but i honestly feel it's a necessity it has now more to become a necessity that you get some type of power box or some type of charging station um this one is a crazy good one there's a few of them out there you have walls and tomb 45 has power pods the newest one and i can't wait to get those because i would love it to add to my collection but having a power box for your clippers is probably one of the best things you could probably have as an accessory because you'll never have to worry about any type of charging at all so this is number two on the list there's a lot of them as you see they have their own it could be a mess if you just always use a single one, all of them are different shapes and sizes. So having something that you know is just gonna be that, that size and that shape, and it still charges all your clippers and trimmers, is definitely one of the top five, one of the top five accessories that I honestly feel that you need in your barber studio. Let's get to the next item and let's see what the third one is. All right, so the next one I'm gonna be talking about is having a ring light, a mobile or a portable ring light that's able to move you can put it on the wall and it's wall mounted, stuff like this. To me, having this, being able to move it and adjust it wherever I need it and able to still get some good content if I want to put a camera or a phone there, um, nice head view, nice angle. You can, like I said, you could change it if you want to, but to me, this accessory is one of the best accessories to get right now. Um, it's always great to have great lighting in, in your studio, but having one, or two, because I know a few people have two of these, but having a wall mount ring light is still a good accessory to have at, in your studio. So I would highly suggest to invest in one of these. You can find these on Amazon. I'll show you, I'll give you guys the link. The price of these are definitely under a hundred dollars, so it won't break the bank. So to me, this is one of the best ones as well. Uh, all right, y'all, that, that, that kind of took a lot, but the real main reason why I'm down here is because I want you to understand that this, I, I, not to say I'm saving the best for last, but having this eye back sweep up my stuff, all the hair, it's really, really good. It holds a lot. I honestly will tell you that this is probably one of the best accessories that you can get at your barber studio, barber station, barber shop. It doesn't matter, but I definitely think that majority, even if you're a home barber, garage, whatever, you should probably invest in one of these. And uh, yeah, there's not too much to say about it. I'll show you guys a clip of how bad this thing works. Let me, let me, ah, my knees, okay. I was working out, so yeah, whatever. All right, y'all, so for the fourth accessory, I honestly think that if you wanna do any extra services, anything of that nature. I definitely think that a steamer 
is definitely one of the things that you want to have. To be, to be honest, this thing can help you earn a lot of money if you invest into a steamer. And yes, there are some steamers right now that is between like seventy dollars to seventy dollars to two hundred. That would do you some real. It would do you some good and it can last a long time. So I definitely would say invest into a steamer or a hot towel warmer. I have one right here as well. But having these type of things is an accessory um, that you can benefit off from financially so much. So definitely a great investment. So make sure you guys get that. If you like the top five, click on the link below in the description and you guys will see everything there. So thank you for watching the video. And if you stay all the way up until this point, I'm glad that you did because I'm going to give you an honorable mention. If you're on IG, TikTok, whatever platform that you're using, this is something that you might want to invest in that is under $20. So let's see what that is. All right, y'all, so we're back. Honorable mention is this bad boy. This bad boy that sits on my mirror is a camera, cell phone, mirror mount, and this thing holds about 40 to 50 pounds, I think. It's up there though, but I have one of the most heavy dutiest cameras. I still have it to this day, and this thing can just last and sit on here um, just for a very, for, for days, for maybe even a month, but for a very long time. And I definitely think that, you know, investing one of these definitely can help you out. So if you're doing any type of content, this thing right here costs about 15, 16 bucks, and it's an easy, pop on, pop off, suction thing. So this thing right here, I'm trying to tell you. Now there's other ones, there's other different brands and all that jazz, but I definitely think that this one I'm gonna leave in the description below will do just as good as any other one. So thank y'all for getting all the way to the end of the video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Be blessed. See, T, B, you know who it is.